Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. This is a short clip from Bill Maher's show with a young lady who's the opinion uh, editor for Newsweek. Now, what she's going to say doesn't sound like Newsweek, but it is the truth. She must be the conservative DEI hire (laughs) of Newsweek. But before we start, this website is really pushing this channel down. Anything you can do to help would be greatly appreciated. Watch the videos, of course, but share it when you can. Make comments. Uh, put, put that thumbs up button. Anything to get this pushed through the algorithm. This is going to be the hardest year for conservative channels by far. It'll make 2020 look like a joke. This is the time that we have to band together to get out the truth. Now, let's listen a little bit. The topic is the Democrats are losing in Michigan because of the Israeli-Hamas conflict and how there's a very large contingent of Muslim Americans in Michigan, and that's the reason why Democrats are losing the state of Michigan. And this lady explains it extremely well. Uh, let's listen. This is, a, this is a wedge issue in the Democratic Party. The, the young people, the kids, and, and Muslim voters like this don't want him supporting Israel. Many other people do. What are your thoughts? Um, I think that the media really, really wants to put this narrative out there that Biden is going to lose Michigan over Gaza, when the truth is he's going to lose Michigan over 600,000 auto workers because his EV market was extremely punishing to auto workers. And like... Wait, what? The Democrat Party, who's always been the party of unions, especially like the auto workers union? What's going on here? Yes, there is a shift in politics. And the politics is this. The Republican Party, whether you like Donald Trump or not, have moved towards helping and trying to make the American dream come true for working class Americans. You can deny it all you want to, but the statistics from 2016 and 2020 are crystal, crystal clear. Working class, blue collar Americans are shifting towards the Republican Party. Now they're shifting towards the Republican Party because of Republicans' policies? No. They're shifting towards the Republican Party because of Trump. Make no mistake. And that's why the rhinos are having a fit. They all got rich, go along, get along. The Democrat Party now is the party of huge corporations, money-making machines. Make no mistake. Let's listen a little bit. She has the rest to say. We said earlier there's been this big realignment where working class Americans are very, very, very much on the Trump train. People who used to be Democrats and used to vote for Democrats. And rather than admit that, this outrage that Democrats lost the working class vote and try to figure out how we can appeal to them again, um, they're looking for excuses and other things to blame. Like, oh, this war in Gaza, or they'll call them deplorables, or they'll call them racist, you know. That's right. You're deplorable. You're a racist. You're anti-American. You're a white supremacist. You're all these things because they deserted those people. And that was the core of the Democrat Party, at least in my lifetime. And I was born in 1956. So instead of trying to fix that and admit they were wrong in the road they're going down, which they can never do, of course, because their egos won't allow it. They call these people names. What a great way to entice people to vote for your party at the presidential all the way through the local level. You're the problem. You're the bigot. You're the homophobe. You're the xenophobe. You're the blah, 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 blah. It's not us. It's you. And it's the Democrat Party that has changed. There is a big alignment going on. These people aren't following the Republican Party, they were former Democrats because they liked the Republicans. They're joining the Republicans and voting for them and registering as a Republican because of Trump. 
But these morons can't see the fact in the Republican Party that Trump is saving their party. It was wishy-washy at best. For give you an example, presidential candidate Mitt Romney. The guy's milk toast, and that's being polite. That's being polite. No wonder Republicans can't win anything of any consequence. And believe me, the presidency is key in a lot of ways. But one way is Supreme Court justices. And Trump got three. Some people call it divine intervention. Some just call it dumb luck. But the Democrat Party has turned on their base. And when they protest that the Democrat Party has changed, they call them names. What a good idea. Because they don't want to admit that Trump has picked up a lot of the policies that used to be Democratic policies in the 90s, like controlling the border, for example. The idea that an open border and mass migration is extremely punishing to the working class. It drives down their wages. It's class warfare against the working class. It's class warfare against the working class. And that was the Democrats' base, and they've deserted them. They've deserted them for this mass open migration. You don't have to have a PhD in economics to understand when you flood a country with low skill labor that will work for cheaper, the Americans that are already here are going to be pressed against the wall. You don't have to be a genius to figure that out. It's supply and demand. When the supply of workers is really high, the wages go down. And at the same time the wages are going down, the inflation rate are hitting heights not seen since the 1970s. Just, it's just simple. And that puts millions of working class Americans in a vice. A vice of the Democrats doing so when these people turn away from the Democrat Party, instead of trying to recruit them back by changing policies, they call them names. Like I said before, homophobe, xenophobe, white supremacist, anti-democratic uh, citizens, everything under the sun that you could possibly think of. It is an upward transfer of wealth from the working class who end up competing with immigrants to the elites who end up employing them, and now they can employ cheap immigrants instead of having to pay working class Americans a living wage. Right. Thanks, guys. And there you have it. It is not a wedge issue. This was created by Democrats. They've changed their allegiance from working class people to big business. Government and corporations not cooperate together, but literally merge. So there you have it, folks. And the Democrats won't wake up. Their egos won't allow it. They are so convinced that their tactics and what they're doing now is the right thing to do. Second or third generation now are now in charge of everything from Hollywood to Washington to local level politics and everything in between. Two generations of brainwashing in colleges has brought us to this point. It's one of the biggest cults in American history, and they are convinced that they are right. And they will burn down the building they're standing in rather than let their opposition have control over it. Make no mistake, they're arresting journalists now. Look at our journalists for Blaze TV, and we can go on and on. The former, I forget her name, she used to work for Fox, now works for CBS. CBS fired her because of her good, good investigative reporting. And she was going to be charged, what was it, $300,000 a year in fines or something, so she turned over her sources. This is out of control. That's not even counting the Trump indictments, and all the legalese that's going on, the lawfare that's going on against Republicans that sided with Trump and Donald Trump. They see themselves against the wall. 
And like any wounded animal, they're lashing out. And they take as many people as they can, as many institutions as they can, with them as they go down. We can't allow that to happen. Trump is not perfect, but he's the perfect person for this situation. Democrats will never wake up to the fact that blue-collar, working-class people are now following Trump. It makes them crazy. Unless they, they'll never be able to correct it. And it will be their doom. Their doom. As I said before, try to watch as many vi videos as you can from my channel. This channel's being pushed down. Share this video link with as many places as you can on your social media. And try to comment and give it a thumbs up and push it through the algorithm. But there it is. The Democrats are in denial. And it will be their downfall. Until the next time, God bless, goodbye, and good luck. Mm -hmm.